Hi everyone. Today we will discuss on a topic called plant disease detection. Before moving further into uh, this topic deeply, I will see how our application is working, which we built using deep learning and uh, uh, front end uh, and back end. For front end, we use HTML and CSS, for back end, we use Flash. First of all, we will see how our application is working and uh, then we will uh, move further and discuss about it. Uh, here in the front end, I gave two options where you can move to that page where you can upload any images of a leaf uh, on which the prediction will be done. One option is this is here above in the menu bar and another one is here down where it says crop disease predicting the name and cause of the crop disease and suggestion for curate. Okay, you can click either here or here in on the button. Okay. You will be taken to the page where you can upload an image. First, we'll uh, try with a uh, black rot image. What it says, okay, the plant is having a disease called apple black rot. Then what it, what should be done? Okay, you can specify, you can say, okay, contact expert and you can give contact number of that person, that expert, where a farmer can get help of those people or there's option where you can directly give information here. But the better way is uh, if we, you inform a farmer to contact or to a particular person, we can uh, express in a better way than normally giving any normal text saying, okay, do this and do that stuff in a text format. So we'll uh, we'll uh, try to upload some other images. Uh, we'll try with apple scab. Okay, it says okay, apple scab is a disease. Then what it should be? Say contact X or Y. Okay, some expert name and their contact number again. Uh, this is the best way. Okay, instead of giving a normal cure like in a text format, if you give a number, they may get a better advice. A, pay, a farmer may get a better advice. This was the idea and. Uh, was implemented we'll come back to our home page and the thing is how we done this okay uh, first of all we implemented multiple models uh, deep learning models the first model is ResNet and VGGNet uh, efficient net and all of them but in the end uh, like mobile net version 1 and version 2 like that we applied so many models in the end uh, for uh, efficient net we got better accuracy uh, our Testing accuracy was more than 95 and training accuracy was more than 98 and it was nearly 99 or like, like that we got. Uh, we done it on 32 uh, classes of diseases, around 13 or to 14 classes of plants we implemented it. Uh, for that, like what are the pre-processing uh, techniques? What is special uh, with our model? So here we try to do uh, segmentation before feeding to a deep learning model and we we got the uh, results like accuracy and we implemented a normal data set directly and we got the accuracy and then we applied our different filters like canny filter over the images and we uh, built a deep learning model trained a deep learning model and we got accuracy like that but no, we done so many combinations okay so many filters and so many uh, ways of implementation over the data set and finally you got to know that when you try to uh, uh, when you will apply segmentation over the image before uh, feeding it to a model uh, then you will get better accuracy because the background will be removed uh, if if you want more information and uh, in detail wh what we done for segmentation and all those stuffs and uh, about each model if you want to know accuracies and all those stuffs you can directly contact to us where we will be giving you the course and also the explanation complete explanation will be given and so complete guidance uh, to implement it uh, in your system will be uh, done uh, so for further information you can contact us and if if you like this video you can like and subscribe our channel don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will get you will be getting uh, notification for the notification we will be uploading some other good videos they may help you for your future or like that thank you for your time thank you very much